Now that we have a firm grasp on the root cause of how all ancient religions started, that they started with Nimrod and Babylon, I now want to explore modern-day religions and how these religions from the past have influenced our modern-day culture. Let's explore the New Age movement, Wicca, different forms of witchcraft, and what is referred to as the ancient mystery schools. If one were to try and define the New Age movement, you would find a definition that says something like this, quote, New Age typically adopts a belief in a holistic form of divinity that combines all of the universe, including human beings themselves. There is thus a strong emphasis on the spiritual authority of the self. This is accompanied by a common belief in a wide variety of semi-divine non-human entities such as angels, masters, with whom humans can communicate particularly through the form of channeling. Typically, viewing human history as being divided into a series of distinct ages, a common New Age belief is that we, as humanity, lived once in an age of great technological advancement and spiritual wisdom. We have entered a period of spiritual degeneracy, which will be remedied through the establishment of a coming age of Aquarius, end quote. Notice something interesting here. An emphasis in this definition of the New Age religion is that once man was advanced with wisdom by teachers, ascended masters, and angels, we somehow lost that or what was taught in what is referred to as the ancient mystery schools. And now man's purpose is to try to get back there and the New Age religion will help us do that. A major influencer of the New Age movement came from a woman named Helena Blavatsky. She was a Russian philosopher and author who co-founded the Theosophical Society in 1875. She had an international following as the leading philosopher of theosophy. The movement's slogan is, quote, there is no religion higher than truth, end quote. She subscribed to the anti-Christian current of thought within Western esotericism, which emphasized the idea of an ancient and universal occult science that should be revived. Additionally, Blavatsky stated that the theosophical teachings were passed on to her by other experts who lived in various parts of the world. The very core of her teachings was that there was an ancient wisdom religion that was known by famous figures like Plato of the Greeks, Hindus, and others. It is her belief that finding this wisdom was prohibited by Christianity in Europe, but through her philosophy, she'd hope to revive the wisdom that was once lost. In her book titled The Secret Doctrine, Blavatsky touts it as the reemergence of the ancient mystery schools. She states, quote, The secret doctrine is the accumulated wisdom of all ages, the mysterious power of occult symbolism that the facts which have actually occupied countless generations of initiated seers and prophets to marshal, to set down and explain in the bewildering series of evolution every progress. It is the uninterrupted interrupted record covering thousands of generations of seers whose respective experiences were made to test and to verify the traditions passed orally by one early race to another of the teachings of higher and exalted beings who watched over the childhood of humanity, end quote. That is found on page 257 of The Secret Doctrine.